normal that the dog is playing with the cow all the time. I mean, they are trying to literally chase each other. You can tell they are truly trying to get the other one. It happens all the time. It's not just a rare thing that happens. At one point, Bucket would kind of outrun Colton, and Colton is pretty fast. Colton is absolutely obsessed with Bucket's ears. He turns right to her and goes back for more, so I know that he's okay with it because he never tries to run away in any way, shape, or form. He knows somehow to be careful of her. It lets him be kind of a goofball and be silly and then run. It's like a puppy would. I wanted to go to an auction to try to save a life. I knew it was just going to be so hard, but I needed to do it. The calves were first, and the littlest one that came out that night was Bucket. He was so, so tiny. I estimated not even a day old. No one bid on him. I got him for $10. That was going to be my one life that I was going to save that night. Never had a cow in my life whatsoever. I felt horrible. I knew he had been ripped from his mom. It was just going to be a long journey. We were going to wing it together. I didn't put Colton and him together the first morning. I had a fence between them, and then they were just sort of going nose to nose. I decided to put them together, and they just started walking around, hanging out together. Bucket would lay down, and she would just sit down right with me. They were very, very inseparable the first few days. He was just very much like a puppy dog, honestly. He loved to run. He ran all the time when he was young. He was not lazy, like he truly wanted to run and play. It was kind of like two peas in a pod. They were almost like they knew each other forever. There was no questions asked in their friendship. It was just her. Bucket and her, I feel like it'll be a forever friendship.